What are you saying, geezers? We're snapping to start this one off. It's a new Mr. Negative deck. Zabu and Silver Surfer, of course, getting huge nerfs, but Zabu is now amazing in Mr. Negative. Because it costs two and reduces the cost of four cost cards, we can play Zabu on turn two, allowing us to play Mr. Negative on turn three. So in this game, we drew Psylocke, and we use Psylocke to do it instead here. But you just have so much more flexibility and consistency over getting Mr. Negative down a turn early. Of course, the downside of playing both of these is we can now draw Zabu off Mr. Negative, and that's going to feel really sad. But it's honestly not the end of the world. A lot of people are going to be getting baited into not playing it when I think it just makes sense to still go for it. So the decision here is if we take the Wong or if we take Bast. I think we probably just take Wong while it's on curve. We can try and get Wong in here. It's probably not going to happen for us though. We can try and win Asgard, I mean. but Oh, Dracula into Lockjaw. Seen it all. Hella gets discarded. It looks like it's an Apocalypse Lockjaw. Hella version. We can go White Tiger here. We could also take the Iron Man. I guess Iron Man is solid. This enables us to play Mystique next turn. Hit Miss Negative or Psylocke. Not Wong! No! Not Wong, man. Morbius looking very threatening mid. The good news is we know how many points we need to win left and we have an Iron Man right. So we're not looking too bad. They have two cards in hand. Hopefully they don't hit Apoc. We hit Mystique, which copies Iron Man. We have double Iron Man here. The issue for us is going to be getting enough points to the left now. Which I think we probably just can't do, right? Blue Marvel and Wolfsbane. Is that enough? I don't think it's enough, for it. Is this ever enough? Um, so we have... Blue Marvel is seven. Bast is one, that's eight. I mean, it might be enough. The, the issue is, are we actually going to have enough to win the right? Probably not. We'll, we'll try it. We have double Iron Man, so this will... This... Ah, it looks like a win. We managed to pull it off. This double Iron Man, the Blue Marvel with so many stats on. So you can just cheat a few cheeky wins of this deck. Miss the negative. It does feel a little clunky compared to the Silver Surfer builds, but Silver Surfer obviously not an option now. Hope you guys enjoyed the deck. Give the video a like and subscribe for more banging Marvel Snap decks. We have Iron Man still in deck. We don't really care if our hand gets emptied here either by Doc Octopus. Hard to see how we lose with magic as well. Like they might Spider-Man us next time, but we just have the magic. Then with the ah, I don't believe you. Death and Psylocke. That's not Spidey. I was expecting Spidey. Come on, Iron Mans. We need you, boy. Do we fear the Spidey? I think we might have won. I think we might have won, ladies and gents. <laughs> Get absolutely wrecked, mate. Null? I fear no null. Pathetic! Pretty close. Look at this value, guys. It's insane. Should go on Wolfsbane first, right? We want to buff stuff mid. I forget that they changed Wolfsbane a while ago.
Next popping. The real question on why would you not play Psylocke and Zabu is why of why would you play Psylocke and Zabu is why would you not? And the answer is that people will give you is because you don't want to top deck bad cards with Mr. Negative, but you have like three turns of Mr. Negative usually with the setup. And if you top deck bad stuff with Mr. Negative, it is what it is, man. It's gonna happen anyway. Like you still play Bast. Okay, bit of a weird one. Um, I guess we just want as many stats here as possible, so it's gonna be this. I guess Wolfsbane is the most still, right? It's literally this. It's weird. Very weird. We definitely want Iron Man mid. This would be seven points here. It's just this, isn't it? This is worse into Shang-Chi in fairness. Maybe I should have just gone for the tiger instead of Shang. So the question here on Bast is Do we play it turn one or not? I guess we do. I shouldn't have snapped because of the rocks. There's a misplay. Probably I shouldn't have Basted yet, you know. Okay, two rocks out is good. Let's get another rock, please. Rock now is good. Won't give me the rock. I think Shuri needs an Earth, yes. I think it should be five costs. Will be a huge enough though. Oh my god, do you guys smell what the rock is cooking right now? That is insane. I mean these are worth points because of Blue Marvel, they're worth two points each, so I guess we still go for them. Come on, give me another rock. Oh no, that's not a rock, what the hell? Okay, we shouldn't have played the rocks because I have now one white tiger. Which fills the board. Looks like a pretty easy win. Smell that. These two rocks would have been tigers. Doesn't matter. GG. Even with the rocks cooking, we still win. This deck just feels so much better than it used to. It's so much more consistent because of Zabu and Mr. Negative being ways of getting... Uh, Zabu and Psylocke giving you negative early. And Zabu is a hu huge buff for this one in particular because it also makes your one cheaper. Blue Marvel and Bar Sinister is good for my other two locations. That's fine. I actually might secretly be good for us. Okay, so we take the Bast. And I, I guess we take the Wolfsbane. Blue Marvel on Bard doesn't look that good, honestly, though. Okay. Oh, 
guys, look at that valley. That's insane. You seeing this? Uh, I don't have much experience with Mr. Negative, so I don't know, but probably. You could definitely build it in a different way as well, though, where you just go more greedy. Okay. Should be a win. Way. Okay. Could beat this still if the buffs go mid. No, I can't. Almost one still. Bass would be a nice find here. Not so bad. I'm on right's actually decent. Even some on minus one, of course, it doesn't help, but could work out for us. Just looks like we don't. We still have Zabu and Sarlok in the deck. It just looks like a loss, doesn't it? Winnable. Looks like a win. Nice, let's go! Unexpected win. Beautiful victory. Against the odds. We snap with Zabu into Neg. Mystique in hand as well, so... Uh, sorry, Sarlok in hand, so... Most of the cards we want to hit are still in the deck. I guess we just... Mr. Negative the right. This is probably our location we're losing because of Necroshaw. We just struggle to ever win that kind of location. This could be our Wong lane, maybe, instead. With, like, Ironheart, White Tiger. Is that good or bad? I don't even know. I guess it's good. It, does it change their power? It, it doesn't right? happen afterwards. Okay. Magic's great. That is certainly a bummer. I guess we just take Blue Marvel this turn. Craven? That's a bit weird, isn't it? The question here is, do they have a Storm? I mean, yes. Looks like the answer is yes. How do we play this then? This should just be fine, shouldn't it, really? We go Wong, Ironheart first, then Iron Man. Wait, it's not Storm? I think this works for us too, still. I don't think we care that much. Oh, what? Arrow, you douchebag. I worked out anyway. I remember the last card I played in it, so. GG. Beautiful. 
It's OP, man. It's so OP. Excuse me. Alright, I think we might have won the video game. Just a hunch. Wong Mystique into Kamatage with White Tiger ain't too shabby. What do we get? Give us Galactus. Okay. Imagine they <laughs> morphed into the Hulk. I really don't think Sauron is that good, honestly. But it's more the decks you play in. So they miss sequence here because they end up with rocks in deck. They should have gone Psylocke first. A snap, I think it's fine. We still have Iron Man and Mystique in deck. They clog themselves with some rocks. We have magic with reality stone already down on the board. Seems more than reasonable to snap here. This works for us. Hopefully uh one goes in before Wolfsbane. I don't think it did though. I think Wolfsbane was last. I meant um, Wong was lost. And that's why I said I don't think it did. Reality Stone's gone, so Iron Heart will be a nice find to put more stats left. Moving Octopus out is surprising. Fair play. Okay, which lane do we try and win? Probably the right lane. 10 points in there. Nah, I prefer trying to win the left, actually. I like this line. Just winning all three lanes before they play anything. They can probably split a lot of points uh, with, like, Blue Marv also. Yeah, I could have gone for starting hand, but that's true. I didn't even think about that. Yeah, we win her. I think as long as uh, Ironheart buffs one card mid, we're, we're winning. Oh, we don't even need it. Cool. Nice!